Hello everybody, this is Pun and I got an update for you. Meld Studio is releasing today their updated beta with some new features and I think you will like it. This is going to give you free multi-streaming inside of Meld Studio and it's very nice and they've also added API login support for Twitch. So you can now log into your Twitch account and it will set up your stream for you. So let's walk through how you would set up your stream and do multi-streaming inside of Meld Studio's new beta. All right, so Meld, let's talk about setting up multiple outputs. Uh, it's a great thing that they're doing here and it's very easy to set up. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to your file and preferences. Now at the very top, you have a new portion of the UI here where you can add outputs, really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the add output and you can see here Twitch has come up. We'll like tag into that. And then what we'll do is we will log in. So we're going to log in. Now I've already logged in, you know, it gives you that 30 day thing. So since I've done that and it's still inside of 30 days, it's giving me the ability to just authorize this and it's going to connect it to my account. Now I want you to pay attention to this. This is very important and something that we've discovered. This is recommending to me to go to Portland for the uh, suggested server. This is not necessarily something that's, you know, that's with meld, this is what Twitch is recommending. Uh, so what you can do, because I, I'm in Virginia, obviously Portland's not gonna be the best option for me. I can click on available servers. And then what we can do is we can go over here and find the Ashburn server, which is my number two on the list. And then you can just copy and paste all the way up to the slash there, copy it and paste it in there and then you're ready to go. Now that's something that we've discovered. It's kind of kind of crazy, right? And I was wondering, does OBS do the same thing? And I think it just might. So that's something you might want to pay attention to when you're in auto settings. This is about melt. So we've got that set up. So now, now let's add YouTube. So we'll go to custom destination. Now any of the rest of these, they have not added API access support yet for these other things. They've just got custom destinations. So right now Twitch is the only one, but you'll be able to go in and manually set up YouTube. You'll be able to set up kick and they will save. So you don't have to worry about doing this over and over again, unless, you know, say for YouTube, you have different stream uh, settings, you know, specific to a certain video that you do or whatnot. So what we'll do now is we'll bring up uh, my, uh, YouTube stuff here and it, what we'll do is we'll copy the stream URL and then we will go in and paste that and then we'll do the same for our stream key and paste that and then that connection is set and so now I can start streaming to YouTube and Twitch uh, and you could turn these on and off say if you don't want to stream to both of them you just want to stream to one of them, but you don't want to get rid of the connection. You can just turn it off by this little on off switch, which is really nice. You just press the go live button and you get green lights and you'll start noticing your bit rates climbing and you'll notice your graphs going. Now, this is something to pay attention to. Notice the bit rates, okay? I have them set for 8,000. So that means it's going to send 8,000 to both connections. So you need to ensure that you have the proper bandwidth to be able to support that and how do you do that well you can run a quick you know speed test just you know do a quick you know speed test search in your bar run a speed test and it will measure your upload and download and then by doing that you then take approximately 75 percent of that and let's just you know round mine up to 100 and say 75 percent of that would be 75,000. so then i should be able to support and three connections at 25,000 a piece for each one. So that's what you would need to figure out is how many connections am I going to have? That would be how many you would divide the 75% of. And then that would give you a nice stable upload that you could send to each connection and still give you a little bit of headroom with the actual upload speed that you have. Okay, so that's a good rule of thumb. Most people, you know, you're going to be limited to 8K on uh, Twitch anyway for right now. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. You cannot, that's the one thing that I would hope that you can do here is you could set a bit rate specific for each connection. And hopefully that's the next step in this multi-streaming. But it's free, people. You're getting the ability to do multi-streaming for free to pretty much any connection that you can set up. 
so it's cool and i appreciate mel for doing it now there's an easter egg in this uh that you may see i'm not going to tell you about it i don't know if they've actually talked about it but i've just noticed it uh as i'm recording so if you happen to see it well just know that it's coming also another net y'all be good have a great day we'll see you later